times. They're passing your guard, passing the guard, and instead of being here, as he begins to settle his weight, I'm gonna move my arm down below right here, okay? So, we're here. Yeah, just circle to your left. Oh, to your right, sorry. Right here. All right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, 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 yeah. So, so you see where my hand is right here, okay? He's not really threatened too much by it, but at bare minimum, I can use this to lift and scoop my hips out. And he, you know, can go north, south, and so forth, but I can create space there. And it may be even a better solution than even having your arm right here. Because here he can keep me flat, okay? And I have to frame here, turn, and so forth. So what happens is, is that sometimes as you're moving around, you can begin to just move your hand right here. What I'm waiting for is for him to get both arms on the same side of the body. Rotate this way. Okay. What happens here is I keep my elbow tight here so I don't let him pull this left arm out. And it's almost like I crawl underneath. This cross face turns into liability and oftentimes they will bring the left elbow over the head. Right here. What I do is, is that I shuck him up and bring this arm up and over as my hip begins to walk towards his right elbow. And I am having... Uh, like a seatbelt grip right here. You could have a gable grip, but it puts awkward pressure. I want to control his head, and my hip controls his elbow. As I walk out, 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 this way here, and my tricep comes to my left hand. As I keep walking, <coughs> keep walking, keep walking. So, and I keep walking, and I want to dump him on the side as I keep walking my feet back to hook his leg here, and then I squeeze. Okay. So if you notice, we have this dars right here. Okay. This works very well in no gi. You pass him, you get here, and I start moving him up. That cross face turns problematic for him. They momentarily, I anticipate him bringing it out. As he moves it over my head, I move this over. If he does this, then I lock my timing, and then I have to begin to go back if he pulls it out, okay? If he brings it over now, and I lock him here, I pop my head out, and I'm keeping his head and arm locked, as it goes from this seatbelt right here to the belt. From here, ideally, if he's on his knees, he's stronger. I almost want to roll him on this side and keep walking my feet in to try to hook the leg, just as we did. And if you notice, I'm on my left side. As this hand crawls off the back. I just have them on the opposite side. Okay. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna start with your hand down, okay? And he's got a cross face. So the second he brings this over, I bring this over here, get this kind of almost uh, seatbelt headlock, and then you get a bridge, and this so it's here, so that you begin to control here so he can't pull his right arm out and keep walking your hip to the left uh, to the right as your head starts to pop out right here. As your head pops out, your hand gets here. You can begin to seek to roll him maybe this way here. And then you lock it tight. That kind of makes sense. The whole key just to get the dark swap in. And you stay cinched down on that arm so you can't put it on the other side of your body. Yeah, I want, I want to walk my hip immediately to lock his arm right here. So as I go here, okay? I want to be kind of here. As he, I do this. But what I want to really do is, is as he brings it over, I want to 
trap his head, get a walk my snake to the right, so uh, to the left, so that it's keeping him from pulling that arm out. So pull your right arm out. Okay? This is fairly locked in. Sometimes you can just finish it. Here. It's just a head arm type of choke. But you really want to pop your head out right here. Lock the doors and put them in that sweet spot. When he's too low here and you lock the doors, it's too low. It's almost like you want to slide it up and then you put them right in that sweet spot. Dump him to his uh, right side. Bring it right leg. So I can dump you on your side. See, you don't have to take this. And then I want to lock my feet to hook his legs. And finish. I mean, I could theoretically mount, but I really don't want it because I'm pulling up and bring this down and pushing it back down. Okay, so you watch. <coughs>